You're watching Tim's Take Live, and I'm your host, Tim Black. Police officers are facing charges this afternoon, accused of beating a man on a scooter. And only Action News has the surveillance video that shows exactly what happened. David Henry is live at police headquarters, where today the commissioner and the district attorney did not mince words about this case. David? Yeah, surely not. The Philadelphia Police Department has been badly shaken by this ugly case that only adds fuel to the national debate over police brutality. Commissioner Ramsey says it is an isolated but outrageous incident. What they did was totally inappropriate, totally improper, totally in violation of any policy, any training, anything. Period. Only Action News has the video surveillance that helped break the case. You can see a patrol car without lights or siren running down a man on a motor scooter. His agonizing screams pierce the night. Two police officers jump out and slam him against a wall. They then throw him to the ground and beat him repeatedly with their batons and fists. This is what 23-year-old Najee Rivera looked like later at the hospital. The two officers who allegedly did this have now been arrested. They are Sean McKnight and Kevin Robinson. The two are facing multiple assault and filing false report charges. They had charged Rivera with resisting arrest. As soon as he was knocked to the ground, you can see that there was no resistance offered. But then things elevated to a higher level thereafter. Rivera's girlfriend canvassed the neighborhood where the incident happened and found this surveillance video. When it was presented to the DA, the charges against Rivera were dropped and the investigation of the police officers began. DA Seth Williams says the video was damning evidence. He never resisted. He never struck them. He never fought back. They just started hitting him. First, one held him against the wall while the other beat him with a baton. Then they held him on the ground and beat him some more. Now, Rivera has already won a lawsuit against the police department that will cost the taxpayers of Philadelphia $200,000, but even more costly is the further erosion of public trust in the police. Live at police headquarters, David Henry, Channel 6 Action News. Shirlene. All right, thank you, David. I know some people are going, wow, 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 I can't believe it. Believe it. This stuff happens. I know what's strange to you. You're like, no, it can't be. Yeah. It can be. It's reality. This isn't a purple elephant. It's a regular old elephant. Go to Africa, you see him. Just chilling. People get beat up by cops all the time. They not only beat this guy's ass, they locked him up too and charged him with a crime. And if it wasn't for the footage that this girlfriend is able to find, they wouldn't be getting anything. Nothing. Another injustice. See, a lot of people don't believe it. They think that anybody who gets beat up by police, they did something. Yeah, this guy probably did something like run a light. Maybe. I don't know. But whatever he did didn't justify them doing this. Because they are the law. They have Their job is to follow the law. Dispense the law. Lock people up for breaking the law. Not be judge and jury and executioner. I keep trying to tell y'all. And do you see his eye in this picture? That's what a real orb orbital socket fracture looks like. Not Darren Wilson. But people still argue that case. Oh, Darren Wilson, he got beat up. He got attacked. Do you see this guy? That's what attack looks like. That's attacked. But there are people I'll never get through to, so I just give up. I, I, you know what? I'm just going to talk to my people who understand what I'm talking about. And wasn't for the baby mama or the girlfriend sticking in there, Mr. Rivera would get the shaft. He sure wouldn't get $200,000. So now he's got a now he can afford a good lawyer because the good lawyer saw this case. He saw this tape. He's like, what? Oh, we're going to get paid. We're going to get paid. I got you. I support you. I represent you. Before that, they probably couldn't get nobody. That's how it works. Man, you guys need to wake up and, re and recognize what's going on out here. Hey, Mr. Rivera, you deserve more than $200,000. Tell them to add another 100000 just for them irritating the hell out of you. You know what I mean? Just for the indecency, the disrespect. 
You know what I mean? Of them actually charging you with a crime after kicking your ass. I mean, this should be extra 100000 just for that. It's the principle of the whole thing. It's principalities in this. <laughs> oh, yeah. And officers Robinson and McKnight. Go to hell. Hope you can't get employed after this. Hope you can't work in security at a Quicken Mart. All right, I'm Tim Black. Check, check me out tonight on my podcast. It's going to be about Fox's hit show, Empire. Yeah, I know some of y'all going to be pissed. I'm going to talk about it anyway. On Monday.